What's up guys, Zephyr here with another Pokemon Black and White PO battle. This time it's against some guy by the name of Base. And this was an Ubers battle I recorded, I believe yesterday or whenever you're watching this. Just know that I recorded it on Thursday. So anyway, let's get into the battle now. So he's going to start off with a Roserade. I'm going to start off with my Alakazam. And actually this is, I think, my, um... My uh, OU battle, actually, so that's pretty funny. But anyway, I set up a sub as he goes for Shadow Ball, and I get to take him out with Psych Shot for the next turn. He says in Scizor, I'm fearing the pursuit, but he did not have it, so I guess he was just trying to bullet punch me here, as he does, but really, you should have known that bullet punch can't really take out Alakazam, unless you, I guess if you bug bite at me, bug buzz, or whatever you want to do. But anyway, he sets up rain, I don't know why, but I just finish him off for Earthquake. I'm Choice Scarf, so I can't really stay in, but I decide to, hey, what the fuck, I'll just see how much Surf would do, and it does 37%. I mean, Earthquake would do, but unfortunately, I get taken out by the Surf. So now that this, um, um, yeah, excuse me. Now that I have Scizor in, I was just gonna go ahead and Bullet Punch, but unfortunately, he predicted that and sending his Bronze on, who walls me every day in of the year and I go for hidden power fire and it barely does anything so I go for another hidden power fire and I don't know why I'm thinking it will burn but I'm guessing hidden power fire was weakened because of the rain so he goes, he's gonna go for explosion here it's a critical hit which I don't think mattered and takes out my Latios and now he, King just in and rain's gone, so if King Jr. has Swift Swim, it won't really do much. And I don't know why I went for Bullet Punch. I think that was a misclick of the biggest error. He goes, he's gonna go for Draco Meteor here. Not gonna do that much. Well, it's gonna do a good chunk, I guess, since he's Life Orb. But he's gonna miss the Hydro Pump here, which is hilarious. So now that his Light Stream's gone, the Rain is gone, and the Reflect is gone, I can pretty much just kill this dude. So, I have Lantern in Toxic him because what's what's better than a Toxic? Nothing. So he's gonna go for Waterfall, gonna take some more Life Orb damage, and I'm figuring, okay, maybe I maybe not flinch, maybe not, but I flinch. So he's gonna go for another Draco Meteor, but at minus two, it's not really gonna do much, even with plus two or plus one Dragon Dance. So I just decide to vote switch out of here because I figure his um poison will take care of him and it does here so nice and then ludicolo and i believe i go for a shadow ball and i do i get a critical hit which probably mattered because i don't think with as much special defense ludicolo has that would have taken him out but anyway cool fish is going to come in here and die to a psych shot already done so uh, i guess i can make this a double header so i'll see you guys in a minute Alrighty, we're back with part two, I guess, or the second battle, whatever you want to call it. But this battle is against some girl by the name of Panda. I think this is the first girl I battled. Wow. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. And I'm just, this is an Uber match. So all of you know, I'm not cheating, bringing Kyoko. But anyway, Jirachi's going to paralyze me on the first turn. But with my Surf Choice Specs in the Drizzle Rain Adamant, that is going to do a shit ton to that Jirachi. And he's going to take advantage of that and set up his rocks. Unfortunately, I do not get Parahax on these turns, and as he sends an Alakazam, he's going to go for Energy Ball. That will do a very, very good jump, but Alakazam easily will be taken out by, by Surf. So now Snorlax comes in. I'm like, okay, I can easily take you out from Surf. Wrong, sir. I forget that I'm Parahax, so I'm not faster than him, and he's going to be able to take me out for Body Slam. So as Primate comes in, I'm just going to go for the close combat here. Just to see how much it was gonna do, but he switches on to Blast Force, which is all good and dandy because I have the Choice Carp, so I will be able to outspeed and take out Blastoise with another close combat the next turn. So I'm at minus two defense, special defense. So I know I do really don't want to stay in here on this Articuno, but I decide, hey, I'm gonna go for it and close combat this thing just to see how much it might do. But he's gonna roar me out into my fortress, and I believe I take advantage of this opportunity because he has no spinners, no ghosts. And he's just going to go ahead and roost up, but I really don't care. I just go for the gyro ball here. And if I don't set up this turn, I'll set up the next turn, and I do. Because I'm going to start going for spikes. But the funny thing I found was, how did my forge just outspeed an Articuno? So, okay. Well, I guess if he's on the ground. I know it is. But anyway, man, if he comes in, I'm going to tail glow. But unfortunately, that sucks because he throws me right back out into primate. Bad for him because I have stone edge, so I will be able to four times super effectively take out that. Stupid Articuno, 
So now that Blaze Weekend's in, I decide just to go for one last Stone Edge because I know I can't really do much to him. And he doesn't take me out with the Flare Blitz. That's what I found hilarious. So even with the speed boost, I'm still Choice Scarf, so I will be able to take out the Blaze Weekend with another Stone Edge. So, Snorlax comes in. I really don't want to stay in on this thing, so I'm going to switch out into my Zekrom. And you're going to need Body Slam, but he, yeah, he does go for the Body Slam. And here's the funny thing. Well, I am two times resistant to Earthquake. I mean, two times weak to Earthquake. And I set up a home Claws here. I survive with a smidgen of HP. And then next turn, if he hadn't have lefties, Bolt Strike would have taken him out. But he got paralyzed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He takes him out for Earthquake. does not matter in the longest run because I still have four Pokemon to take out this stupid Parahax Snorlax. So I decided to add in the injury and not even take him out close combat, take him out for U-turn, so that will be the game. So if you enjoyed this battle, do not forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my other channel, Periodic Superfan, about the Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 update, and I will leave that in the description. It's not really an update about the game, it's more of an update about the movie, so if you're interested into the uh, game that's coming out this fall, then go ahead and check out the link I will leave in the description. So. Rate, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys later.